Hello guys, so I think I'm okay with the uh, material part on Speedflow Companion. I wanted something as simple and fast as possible. For example, I want uh, to check uh, between two objects is which object is why, is which uh, when I'm modeling and uh, sometimes it's not possible if they are, if they are the same, uh, they have the same shader. So I just have to click like this and like this I'm able to check which part of the, uh, the shader, I, the object I uh, I'm working on and this is uh, this is really nice I can remove everything like this and I can clean the scene like this I will have uh, directly no, no shader in the in the scene or the shader uh, with no users will be removed so this is uh, this is pretty useful I will select everything and I will for example click like this uh, on this button you have some options like previously, click that will add a random color, a shift that will add the same color to the selection, control that will remove the shader, alt link the shaders, control shift uh, select the object with the same material, and control alt uh, make it a single user. For example, I will select those and make alt, I will have the same object here. If I go here, as you can see, I have two object so I just can uh, control uh, alt and that's it now I can uh, edit this subject and I can edit uh, the color like this so as you can see this is really useful uh, now there is a uh, colors maybe I will I could uh, change the um, those colors I will uh, check but I cannot add them uh, in the preferences because uh, I will not have the color in the panel and uh, that's why I added colors and uh, gray uh, colors white, uh, to from black to to, uh, to white and uh, like this you can uh, do whatever you want for example i can uh, add this here yep, like this one i want this this one i want this etc 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 so as you can see this is fast i already have some uh, some great colors and i can do whatever i want okay I added also the possibility to directly choose uh, which uh, preset uh, we want, plastic, metallic, glass, and with alt we will be able to add the transparency. For example, I want this to be uh, this, or this or this to be a glass, and I will uh, just press control to make a glass and uh, alt to make uh, the object uh, trans with transparency. Like this, even in my scene, I'm sure to have uh, something uh, like this and I'm sure that my object will be a uh, glass and uh, if I make a little rounder, yep, as you can see, this is a glass and this is a glass. So that can be really, really, really useful. Uh, I added also the possibility to add um, a new shader on the selection, like this. This is uh, nice, and that's it. So you can, of course, remove the shaders like this and like this, or directly choose in the uh, list material which shader you want. And the list material works also with uh, the edit mode, and that's it. Up, 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 like this. So, as you can see, this is pretty, 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 pretty nice. In fact, I really like uh, what I did, and I hope you like it too. <laughs> uh, some people uh, ask me why I added the random colors, and uh, like I said before, it's uh, to check really fast uh, between objects, and with those with those uh, colors, we can add uh, different colors. But uh, it's not it's not the only part. Uh, you also, for example, have this pop-up. Uh, you can directly choose which preset you want, a random color or a color, you have this result. And uh, after, you can play with the uh, alpha, the transparency. I should name it uh, transparency uh, instead of alpha. I will do this. And uh, you can, uh, after, edit the, uh, the shader to uh, add it uh, metallic, specular, ruiness, anisotropic, etc. And if you use the uh, GGX, for example, if you make the transmission to one, you will be able to uh, add uh, ruiness, and in the render, you will have the result. And this was this one. So like this, you can check, you can edit your uh, your object, your shader directly in the scene. And this is nice. And it's in fact, it was, yes, it was this one. Yep. The ruinous was this one, and the ruinous inside was this one. 
So, as you can see, like I said, this is nice. And you have all the options. Uh, you, of course, uh, you I will just move this. If you select this, you can uh, select this and assign directly. Like this. Poof. Like I assign. Like this. Uh, I will remove only this part because uh, if you want to add a shader, you have to click here and that will add a shader. So I will remove this part and you can uh, do this if you want. Okay. Can they select? You can select. You can change the shaders. Up, not this one. I will add this one. And uh, you have the option for the principal shader. So the code works only with the principal shaders because shader because uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, the best for what I wanted to to do. And uh, if you use, for example, uh, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, etc., you will. Uh, only use principal shader with uh, some uh, textures and uh, like this you would be able to uh, do whatever you want and uh, that's nice um, you can of course if you want uh, use speed flow uh, no last, the asset management excuse me and not this one i will use this one and add uh, some colors yep some shaders i will add this shader okay so on this one i will you plan no, it's a control double click up i will add uh, this one and that's it and as you can see that's work uh, normally that also work in uh, in uh, i should not have selected all of this up yep you can do this and that should work normally click to import okay up up let's see uh, that should work, but I'm not... Yes, that's work. Oof. <laughs> I was sure it was working. Uh, another thing. Uh, if you want to add... Uh, if you don't have the asset management, for example, and you want to add really fast uh, shaders with the... Uh, I have to select something. With the material list, uh, you can add your shaders to your scene and in uh, the uh, here you can press uh, fake users and like this when you will restart your scene you will have uh, the shaders and you will be able to add the shaders directly with the material, si material list since the material list work uh, in object and in edit mode so like this in fact uh, you can do whatever you want and uh, poof i will just remove everything Oop, little bug i will fix this uh, it's not finished it's uh, still in uh, i have some uh, some work to do i will in fact maybe uh, add uh, remove every uh, every shaders on the selected object that can be uh, that can be nice but uh, right now you can see you can see Oop, i will clean and now i have no other shaders in my scene so just have a little fix to make and uh, i think it will be okay as you can see this is uh, simple but uh, but really fast and effective and i can uh, do something like this and after I play with the color like this also if i want and or add some objects some shaders i want this one uh, in uh, plan and just have to do this in metallic etc etc okay i will close i will uh, finish the here i hope you like it uh, i will fix my uh, my uh, code and uh, upload uh, the uh, the shader the add-on uh, tomorrow okay bye bye